Hi everyone, this is Mike Gordon, and welcome back to my perfect playthrough of Tommy the Sword Baseball. Today, I basically decide I'm going to tackle the entire series of games against the same team. That means we get in this episode, we are going to get games 7, 8, and 9 since they are all against the Atlanta Braves. And that will be the new format going forward. Unfortunately, this means I have to make this a multi- I would need to use multiple segments and save states. And the chief reason being is because the maximum amount of time you can actually- For whatever reason, my emulator doesn't record anything more than roughly 20 minutes of footage at a time. So once it passes that 20 minute footage, I basically need to get a new save state in place. So from this point forward, I'm basically going to also be using save states for every game. In between every game. Anyways, I seem to be doing very well in the first inning. Unfortunately, uh, nothing's gonna come of this. My bases are loaded, I'm doing amazing to start, but nothing's gonna come of this. I'm going to get another out really soon. See? All because one of my hits was a fly ball. I wound up hitting a fly ball, and, and the CPU is almost guaranteed to catch those. Oh, I forgot that it was this hitter. It's... Uh, it's kind of... Confusing, especially confusing since Second both basement. teams oh. wear the exact same colors. And I mean the exact same colors. I think the only difference I was able to spot is that the Dodgers' white jerseys are more of a shade of gray while the Atlanta Braves are pure white. Also, the Atlanta Braves have, like, this red stripe on the side. While we have blue stripes. But regardless, why do both teams otherwise look the same? Alright, things are still do going pretty well so far. And once again, I forgot it was the pitcher. And I base and I saw the 55 miles per hour and I pulled my starting pitcher out of the game. And so far, and aside from the fact that the opening inning resulted in no points in spite of three hits, I'm actually doing pretty well, all things considered. The Braves were okay. The Braves pitching as I've uncovered, basically revolves around if the pitcher is left-handed, like this guy here, they will try pitching as far away. And I got a home run! Yay! At least I don't have to wait the whole game to finally score some points. But because I got the double run the two run home run, I'm basically just trying to speed run through the first game. So you see me basically making mistakes. I'm actually just 
going through the motions and trying to get this game over and done with because I have two other games to go afterwards. Anyways, the pitching from the Atlanta Braves, if the pitcher is left-handed, they basically like to pitch away from as close to um, the, the left side of the strike zone. Or in other words, away from the left-handed <sighs> The men at bat who are left-handed. But if the pitcher is right-handed, they like to pitch away from the right-handed batters. So I'm basically just going through the motions of just getting this game over and done with. I think I even felt like I could actually get a perfect game out of this. Not that it would really matter. See? We're basically, uh... We're basically six minutes into this game and we're... And we are heading into the fifth inning with only six minutes of the game gone by. And most of that time was spent in the uh, first inning, so, uh, loading up the bases. First baseman. Out. So I'm basically just trying to go through emotions. And I missed that one. It was on the strike zone, but I couldn't get to it. At this point, there really is no point, because I'm trying to speedrun, there really is no point in not swinging. So I'm gonna go for it. So depending on... Actually, maybe I got that backwards. The left-handed pitchers like to pitch away from the, the minute bat if they are right-handed. From the left box. While right handed pitchers like to pitch away from the. Oh, I'm getting confused. I actually thought that I could possibly make that, but no. Actually, I think I'm just forgetting who I am. Actually, I thought I would miss that one, but no, it turned out. Everything was hunky dory. Anyways, I, at some point though, I'm going to end up giving up a home run. Because the Atlanta Braves have very, very good hitters. And I tried with that. And it actually worked out but too well. So I just decided to go get myself out. Second baseman. I kind of would like to have a. Uh, I kind of would like to have a bit, mo few more points at this point. I'm not necessarily locked in for a, for a win. Right and here's the home run. I think at this point I also realize I should probably try to make an effort to grow my lead a bit more because these hitters, the old Braves are no slouch. Right fielder. Out. But beyond that, I basically do really well for myself the rest of the way. So yeah, I'm basically playing to win at this point. I'm not just playing to get it over, get the game over with. Okay. If the pitcher's left hand, they like to pitch towards the right box. But if the pitcher is right handed, they like to pitch towards the left box. Second baseman. Out. And that actually really sucked right there. Safe. Because
because it was a weak hit, they were able to retrieve it, and they actually managed to get it to, uh, second base before I could. Right fielder. And, uh, out. at this point, I basically sold for the double out. Second baseman. Out. So I, have, I don't think I really had much idea of what I wanted to do. Do I want to get it over and done with, or if I get the game just over and done with, or did I intend to build my lead up? I think I just decided to press on because I still had a, le a one run lead, and I give up another hit. Oh, no. I decided to just go for the out. Can you explain how I how my uh, commentaries are very confused and jumbled up here? It's because the two teams look alike. I can't tell these teams apart. It's so easy to mix the the Braves and the Dodgers. And doing these play-by-play -play commentaries. Third baseman. Out. So. Second baseman. I think Out. at some point, because of those strong hits, I take my current pitcher out. Because I can't get them to stop hitting the Second ball baseman. really hard. Out. So we're at the top of the ninth, and at this point, um, I'm actually going to get a home run. That here's the homer. Now a two. That probably should not count as a home run, though, since it's technically still a field of play. Programming issue. Anyways, I'm wrapping game seven up right here and now. First baseman. Out. So, yep, I'm basically just gonna swing with the intent of getting out every Second single baseman. time. Out. This results in a much faster game than normal. Right fielder. I thought that could potentially be a home run. So I basically just keep doing stupid things so I could hurry this game up. Right fielder. And uh Out. Yeah, I actually caught that one. I even pull my pitcher, even though that was a strong hit. Second baseman. Out. And I basically, and that's the final score: three to one, Los Angeles Dodgers. That's game seven, and the Cincinnati Reds are still nipping at the heels. So I decided I want a new pitcher. Just, I want a new pitcher to start. Current guy is crap. Oh. You know I forgot that I was the... Oh. That I was at bat. How do I forget oh. that I was at bat? I'm... You always start at bat. It's top of the first. Ball. And uh, do I get a do I get a base on ball? No, I get a strikeout. Third base foul. And I get a foul. Honestly, game eight against the Braves was kind of torture. Out. 
And you're about to find out very quickly just how much trouble the Falcons would become. Third baseman. Out. But, you know, the first inning basically plays out pretty quickly outside of the, uh, outside of giving up the strikeout. I thought, and yeah, bottom of the first, and, I'm, and for the first time in my perfect playthrough, I am at a deficit. A one nothing deficit. That's when I kind of realized that I should, uh, to, I should probably switch out my pitcher. But I also realized that I should probably use. I forgot that I need to use a new save stay here. So, but don't worry, I get a home run right here. So, we spent a long time in this game at a 1-1, one, one, at a 1-1 one, one stalemate. First baseman. The Braves are simply much more resilient than the Giants or the Astros. Ball. It's kind of funny. In both cases, once I start getting the ball rolling, their confidence just shattered and they were never able to bounce back. Their season's all but done at this point. And after this series, so too will the Atlanta Braves season be all but done. The only team whose crappiness is not a product of my own doing is the uh, Padres. Since I haven't played them yet. But it's kind of concerning that the Cincinnati Reds just refuse to go away. So I actually have to take care of things really soon. So because we're at a tie, I basically have to try to get that lead in. Um, but that home run is not the only hit I give up in this game. I actually give up a couple more hits. Second baseman. Out. But, you know, everything's going well so far. Second baseman. Out. Yep. As I said, it takes a really, really long time before I'm able to break the tie. But I do win this game. And I also win the next game after this in rather convincing fashion. Second baseman. Out. So, yep, yeah, that's, um... Shortstop. I get a man on base, which is good. Unfortunately, this will not break the tie. Shortstop. I get two men on base, but because I you so see those two outs. Right fielder. Yeah, that's not gonna matter. Out. I don't know why I tried getting all my other p basemen to back up. Shortstop. It wouldn't have mattered. Left fielder. Um. Out. I'm just really tired, is all. Right fielder. So like a baby, and I'm feeling fine. Out. But this is kind of a boring game, since neither of us are able to break the tie yet. And it takes until the sixth inning, I believe, before I'm finally able to get this, in or before I'm finally able to take the lead. Yeah, because they're, because the batters don't reposition themselves, if you have them swing just a little bit, you actually have to hold it down. 
in order to reset their position or else they'll just hold that position even into the next pitch. Sorry about that. It seemed that my, uh, my audio recording device just sort of desynced, so I actually had to record this section all over again. But yeah. Basement. Out. I'm basically just trying to go through the motions at this point. Second basement. And uh, I think I made a misclick at that point, which is how I gave up that hit. Right fielder. And I Out. throw to second just to be safe. Shortstop. And I just threw the first, and we're back in the fifth. Third baseman. Out. So I'm. So we There really isn't much to say for a long time. I'm just not able to get much of anything going unless I have two outs already. And that's kind of infuriating. infuriating. I'm trying to build a lead, but I can't get a man on base unless I have two outs already. Which basically means I need to score a point. Or two points even. With a two out deficit. Center fielder. Out. And all it takes is one out to negate that progress. Out. I don't think the Braves are as tough a team to play as the Houston Astros. Both the first and second games took only one try to beat. All right, I need a miracle. Third baseman. That's not the miracle. It's Out. top of the six. I actually need this moment. Left fielder. And I get a home run. Yay! I finally have a lead. It only took, like, forever and a day. But, really, the Brave Zone difficulty is keeping them from scoring. Because it's worth knowing that this Atlanta Braves team is only a few years removed from competing in the World Series and even winning a title for themselves. The Dodgers are fresh off their most recent World Series championship, meanwhile. And little would anyone know that they would enter a, a deck, uh, like a 17 year hibernation. 2017 against the Astros of all teams was actually the first time. First baseman, out! It's actually the very first time since 1988 that the Dodgers made the World Series and, in my, and the first time in my life I ever saw the Dodgers in the World Series. And the 2020 season was the first time the Dodgers had won in my lifetime. How ironic! The last time that the Dodgers made the World Series the Houston Astros were their rivals. They were division rivals, and oh. now they could actually compete and had competed in a World Series against each other. Second baseman. Oh. So yeah, we're basically just going through the motions, trying to wrap this game Second up baseman. as quickly as possible. However... Oh. 
However, because of that early run I gave up, I'm basically trying to take whatever precautions I can in order to build my lead, but I just can't do it. Which is, you know, fine. It means I can wrap this up a lot sooner. First baseman. Out. And I think I'm about to give up another run. First baseman. Out. Oh, I am at bat. Never mind. Alright, bottom of the eighth. Game's almost over. I'm about to give up a hit, though. Not here. That was actually pathetically easy. Third baseman. Not here either. I think it's this guy that I gave up a hit against. Yep. Oh. Oh, I must have missed it. It's very hard to tell because they look alike. Right fielder. I I'm getting my I'm getting jump all jumbled up and stuff because I can't tell the difference between the Dodgers and the Braves. Second baseman. Whatever differences they have are so subtle, I can't pick them apart. First baseman. Alright, I got two men on base. At this point, I'm just trying to grow my lead. Because I'm kind of nervous at this point. The Braves have been kind of dangerous. Well, I have their pitching been really effective and difficult to nail down. By the way, this is what I kind of found out. If they already registered the run as having been a run, you can go get an out. So I basically did just that so I can wrap this game up. So everything's just going very smoothly. And that's the game. Now, I'm gonna make a safe state here. This time I'm gonna remember it, and it's a good thing too, because I actually had to do this game a second time due to a uh, glitch. I don't know what happened. It was some sort of glitch in the emulator that meant that there was absolutely no sound coming out of the later half of Game 9. But this game actually flows much better than it did in Game 7 or 8. At this point, I think I may have finally shattered the Braves' confidence. At least I like to think that. The truth of the matter is, it's never really that simple. Second baseman. Out. So now I'm the pitching's mound. Second baseman. Out. And uh, no, this is not a perfect game, but I do believe I score a shutout against right. this team. Shortstop. Out. It would be like five nothing was the f no six nothing Search was the final score. Yeah, I just Out. demolished the Braves in game nine. Once you kind of pick apart, home run! Yay! Anyways, once you just pick apart. Once you're able to pick up what the team's pitching quirks, it's actually a lot easier to land hits. Third baseman. You just have to remember that when and how you should uh, readjust Save. your men at bat, depending on whether the pitcher's left-handed or right-handed, and whether you're left-handed or right-handed. 
Spoiler, I'm right-handed. Second baseman. And uh I think I get another run out of this. Shortstop. Yep. Because I made it to first right on time, I was able to get an extra run out of that. Which is good. Right. Not that would have mattered because it would still count as a run, because I only have one out. First baseman. And I have two men on base. Safe. So I'm actually having a really good second inning here. Safe. Second baseman. Out. And now out. all that would come in up because they got a double out. Strike. I think I just have to get used to the First fact baseman. that. Tommy the third baseball is probably only gonna get tougher as the season rolls around. It probably would not surprise me if all your care of all your own players have stamina that gradually runs out as the season progresses. Which ex which actually which act actually explains why the uh Out. why my starting pitcher sucks Strike. first baseman out really the hard part is when you do connect the ball does not roll right into Strike. a fielder's hands and they just pitch it to first. For example, right here, it's now possible for me to get a man on base. Because I'm still playing with game 7 and 8 in the back of my mind, I'm not speedrunning game 9, per se. I'm just trying to build up and preserve my lead. I actually get really bold here, and it actual and it actually really paid off. I got another run out of that. Second baseman, out. So now I'm up three nothing. Second baseman, out. So I'm basically just take everything's going well right. I think eventually I'm gonna miss the ball because I because either one of my basemen snapped onto the base so I can't move them or they just missed everybody. Um, I don't think I get anything done at the fourth. I do get some. I do get to. Uh, I get plenty First done basement. in this game. Again, I oh. get to run- I get a score set, uh, six runs. Not seven, six. Seven is basically the most runs I've ever scored in a game in Tommy the Sora Baseball. And that's definitely gonna be an out. Out! Third baseman! Out. So I'm basically going through the motions. I miss this guy. Safe. Short stop. Out. Fortunately, I don't get the guy make it to the guy on first on time. But I miss both of those guys, so I end up getting up another hit as a result. But don't worry, nothing's gonna come of this. See? Strike. So we're top of the fifth. I got another man on base, and I even managed to steal second. Do I try to go for third? Yes, I do. 
And that was a bold move on my part because I actually am going to score again in this inning. Basement. Even though I got the out, I still got the run. So, that's the third inning in a row that I got to put points on the board. And I get a home run right here. Yay! <laughs> and I think I just scored one more time before I said... You know what? I'm gonna get this game over and done with. And that's not it. Actually, no. I think I just score a random garbage run. Wait. Yep. Two outs. I do get my first double out. Safe. And that's another time where my shortstop was too slow at getting to the ball. Center fielder. Out. Nope, that's not it. Safe. I basically decided, you know what, I should probably... Out. I think after that, I basically decided that, you know what, I'm going to have to start keeping track. And I barely Out. got there on time. That was another error. What happened is, because I'm trying to run down to catch the ball, I probably pressed C while I was Save. pressing down. And though I tried to switch it to right, I still ended up throwing it to home right. instead of first. That kind of happens. The control... This is kind of the reason why, if I had to take a guess, modern baseball games have a tie the bases to the main buttons rather than the D-pad or analog stick. And this was kind of bold on my part to try to make it to home. And, uh, of course, I bump the ball and it just goes flying up in the air like that. Why does it have to do that? I'm trying to comprehend how bunning the ball like that causes it to just hover in the air like that. Anyways, I basically make no further attempt to, uh, Third basement. give up another oh. hit the rest of the way. Third basement. Safe. Alright, so... Yeah, once you see the air ball airborne, run your baseman back to the base that they came from, because they're gonna catch it. Keep in mind, I turned errors off. If errors were on, it is still possible for a fielder to miss the ball. Shortstop. Safe. Spoke too soon. I give up another right. hit, another hit to the uh, Braves. Save. Yeah, what I'm doing right, right. here is resetting the the uh, first baseman's position. Second baseman out. And that's out. how I get my first ever double out. By resetting the baseman's position. Out. 
By the way, it's worth noting that if you partially swing the ball just a little bit, your mana bat becomes locked into that position. You can't move him around the box once he begins the process of swinging the bat until you reset his position. And I got him in safely on third, so... This is going to be the hit that pretty much breaks the game open. The dagger, if you will. You know, if I can actually get... Right there, see? At least the uh, fielders are smart enough to throw to fur throw the ball to first. Because there was no way they were gonna get it, make it to home on time. So now I'm pretty much in speedrunning mode, not that it really matters, because I just wanna Second basement breeze through these innings as quickly as possible. No, it's always scary, but... Shortstop. Out. Nope, we are basically at the home stretch. I'm kind of running out of things to say. First this is a kind of a boring game. Safe. Oh no, I don't even go into spearing mode because at this point of the game, there's no reason to. Third basement. I'm basically just running up the running up the score. Second basement. Out. So, uh, as you can see, nothing's gonna come Third of basement. this. Foul. Third basement. Foul. I'm kind of getting frustrated with all the foul Second balls. Safe. If I was speedrunning, I would try to get one of my guys at and out. Ball. But at this stage, there really is no reason not to do any such things. Safe. And they keep... <sighs> I really hate these pitchers sometimes. Shortstop. But it's not gonna matter. Out. Like, stop throwing balls at me! Strike. Second baseman. Out. Alright, that's one out. Not that it really matters, I'm not really in any fear of this. But yes, I had to do this game over and done with because the uh, sound just glitched out. And that's the final score! So who will we be playing next? Will we finally bury the Cincinnati Reds behind us, or will they overtake us? Tune in next time in my perfect playthrough of Time of Sword Baseball. This is Mike Gordon signing out.